Hello, y'all. How you doing? This is Todd. And I'm Jared. From Reap What You Sow. We got a, uh, some problems back here with the hogs. And we're fixing to put a trap in the back. What they call a, a, a sea trap. or It's called different things. But I'm going to show you how we we fixing to build this trap. And I'm going to put it back here in these woods. And this is how we just hauled it in. I got it on the tractor. And that is the actually 4x4 four four square holes. A little bit smaller it's called a uh, utility panel and then i got one cattle panel i got three of the utility panels and one cattle panel and 20 posts should be a pretty good size trap but we're gonna show you how we do it go big or go home <laughs> so let's get it built <laughs> hi guys I'm the, this is the trap starting i'm starting to make my c in here make a circle and then the c i'm gonna try to leave the camera running to you see what's going on. We're trying to find a place to put this camera and it's not easy with the stand that we got on. Well, we didn't bring the tripod stand for once. And we got I, a magnet, but they don't yeah, stick to the trees too good. I just, I was going to stick it to the Kubota, but you know, we're up in the bushes and can't get the Kubota up in here. So, but guys, we got four panels. That's four, huh? That's three right three. there. Three panels that we've uh, drug in here to make the seat. So what's up next? You gonna start putting T posts down? Putting T posts and making it, getting ready to make the door, and then I'll make the entry and show you how we're doing that. Todd, you got that green shirt on. You just blend in. Yeah. Okay, little piggies, follow the trail. Boy, they're gonna get full before they even get in. I 
I foresee the coons feasting in here. Oh yeah, coons are gonna eat good. All right, guys. I tied these posts in three different spots. I doubled the wire over, cut them about 20 inches long, wrapped it all the way around. What the hogs will do, they'll hit and try to pull up on these posts. All right, the tops, to keep the tops from bending out, I took some bob wire and went from here to the trees that are in the center, all the way around. So the top cannot lean out. The bottom can't come up and the top can't lean out. Jerry, come on this side. I'll show you the trigger on this door. All right, this is a figure C. See how it makes it circle? You got it kind of what they do is they follow around the side of the trap and they'll follow the corn and they'll come in here until they hit this trigger they're gonna keep coming in if there's more than one after they come in and hit I don't know if you can see this little nail there's a little nail on this tree and a wire all right shine back on the on the gate when their nose pushes forward that closes back that way I don't know if I got it because you, I was trying to go. <laughs> couldn't see over you reset it all right I'll reset it and show it again all it does is pull back and he's gonna hook it on that goes wire. on the nail their nose will push it that way and it slaps up against the fence they can't put their nose in that gap to be able to get back out now set like this more hogs can come around and open that gate and come on in here as long as they keep coming in the gate will just kind of push open real easy and then close behind them and that way you can catch more than one time at one time but guys we got it all set up got it camouflaged in we got a main trail passing within 20 yards of here should be able to catch something within a few days this corn that i've got in the bucket is soured it's got water it's got regular corn on top i just poured it on it's got water beer and molasses soap uh, syrup. Why did you put beer yeah. in it? Beer is going to make it sour. And we're also going to take some of Butterfly's milk and pour in that corn. And that's going to sour faster. And they'll smell it from quite a ways off. They'll come to it. They'll find this trap. But there you go, guys. And that is how you build a, what is it, a sea trap? Yeah, I call it just a sea, a sea trap is what it really is. It's just almost like a circle. But then you got like a tuttle coming into it. Well, I tell you what, we're just going to call it a reap what you sow trap. <laughs> and guys, hang tight because we're going to bring you back when we catch them pigs, baby. <laughs> we rolling in the pork meat. Later. Hey, if y'all want to help us, help our channel grow, share the video out. That is the best way you can help us. Share it help us reach other people and they get to see it and laugh at my hideous accent <laughs> but we love y'all and we thank y'all and we appreciate y'all got any questions just ask god bless leave us a comment thank y'all bye 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 hey guys we back again up in this hog trap working guys i'm going to show you what i'm doing around the top of these traps Sometimes them hogs will get to the run and hit it and jump and hit it about halfway up. Depends on how high your wire is. Most of the time they can't get out over the top. But if you got more than one in there and they're piled up, they'll pile up and run and hit that pile and go up over the top. I, I, we've had them do that before. Okay, the way to stop that is you put these boards, these little uh, saplings, anywhere from four to six, eight inches inside all the way around this trap and what they do when they run and hit this and come up they'll hit this and it knocks them back down it just it breaks their their jump and makes them fall back down well how you got that up there is it just sitting there they might knock no, it off i got it all tied down it's tied down all the way around with this wire right here i'm doubling it up and tying it down it's really not bad on this wire right here because it's about five foot tall but you're a lot of people make them out of cattle panels and cattle panels really is not tall enough we always try to put a top on cattle panels it's 
I mean, it'll work most of the time, but some of the hogs that we got over here are very big. They're 400 something pound plus, and they will tear this trap to pieces. You really got to tie them down good. We had a square trap one time that was four by 12, drop door on it, real nice trap top on it. We got to that trap and we checked it, and the trap was completely tore up. It was round instead of square. And it was a very big hog got in there. He just tore it up and got out. They're tough. Hogs are very, very strong. This is just something to kind of help keep them in. But that's all you got to do is just run your rim around the top, tie it down. That's going to close out this video. So if you need to learn how to build a sea trap, make sure you watch it. Share it out. That's the best way you can help our channel is so other people can see. And then you see how we built this. And so <laughs> and so we're going to bring you back when we catch a hog. Yeah, we, next time you see this trap, it should have a hog in it. It better have a hog in it. I ain't playing with nobody. It better have a hog in it. Look at this corn. I just put some more water in it. That corn's got some alcohol in it, milk in it, <laughs> water in it. We're going to get the hogs drunk. We're getting them something. And molasses. And molasses. So it should sour good and start putting out a smell and uh, attract them because it's a trail walking around here. Yeah, there's a main trail about 20 yards from here, so they'll be around. So did y'all see how we camouflaged it up so nobody could see your trap? Look at that. Look how we just put all that stuff on top. It's time for Todd to go back to work, Mr. Willie. Next time you see this trap, it's going to have pigs, and I hope it has that big one. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye.